Hi everyone, welcome to today's session on Android Framework Components Tutorial. Today we will be seeing how SE Linux policy configuration and SE Linux initialization works. So let's get started. Policy configuration. So SE Linux policy is built from the combination of core AOSP policies that is the platform and the device specific policy that is the vendor partition. We all know that there will be vendor partition and system partition in our devices, right? Device manufacturers add a uh, customization code in vendor partition. Based on uh, our requirement, we will have to define SE policy in vendor or system partition so what exactly happens is um, different device manufacturers write the customization they will have different customizations right so all this customization code relating to the ui to the new features they introduce in their phones all these code will be uh, put in the vendor partition so if we have to uh, write any sc linux policy those policies also should be written in that vendor partition so uh, prior to Android 7, all the policies were merged under one root directory and they were clubbed together. But from Android uh, 8 onwards, due to the introduction of the concept of treble, they have divided these policies into uh, system and vendor policies separately. So all the policies which we write for system related stuff are contained in system.img and all the policies we write for the vendor related stuff is contained in vendor.img image okay so se policy files are placed under system se policy all the system related se policies that is se policy is written to access the system resources right they are defined under system se policy and all the se policies defined by the vendor that is the original equipment manufacturer the different oems whatever they define those se policies are defined under a device vendor common se policy folder and there will be few uh, policies under external se policies so uh, these are the different uh, uh, files that I wanted to show SE policy uh, will be defined. Right. Uh, so to summarize SE policy, uh, we know that there are two partitions from Oreo onward system as well as vendor. And for each of those, the SE policy should be added in their corresponding partitions. And this is the path for that policy files the se policy files consist of multiple source files uh, like security classes initial sds and dot te files so one thing i wanted to mention all the policy whichever we write is written in this dot te file dot te file is nothing but the se policy files that is a file which contains lots of se policies uh, genfs context port context in the same order so whatever files i have listed here all these files will be concatenated into a single policy.conf file and then it will be compiled this policy.conf file will be submitted to the build system to further check for uh, any syntax errors if they are present so if any syntax errors are present compilation errors will be thrown uh, when compilation errors will be thrown if there are any syntax errors or if the policy is already defined or if the policy is overriding any domains such uh, cases the compilation error will be thrown so uh, one thing you remember all these uh, different context files and uh, the different security classes the different t files where exactly your se policy is defined all of them will be uh, concatenated into a single plain text called policy.conf and uh, uh, for each file its concatenation of the same file will be placed under a uh, system sc policy partition and the policy.conf is sent to sc linux compiler for syntax checking and compiled into binary as sc policy on the device so uh, let me go through my source code and show you all exactly uh, how many te files and what exactly this te file contains in this particular system se policy partition so let's switch over 
so here i have uh, opened aosp uh, source code android xref you all can uh, go through this android xref and you all will get multiple android versions here i have selected android 9 and uh, i am inside the systems folder okay inside system folder so as i already mentioned all the system related sc policies so sc policies used to access all the system resources are defined under system sc policy folder you all can see a folder here sc policy so i'll just click on that sc policy and it will just display a readme file i can go through this uh, to understand uh, more on sc policy so um, and all the SE policies, we can see uh, it can be divided into further private or public partitions. Okay, so I'll go to public now. And we see multiple TE files. These TE files are nothing but these are the uh, files where your SE policy is defined. So uh, let me go to camera server.te file and let's see what is there exactly. So here in camera uh, camera server.te file, we can see uh, the different uh, permissions, I mean the different SE policies. Okay, we all uh, saw in the previous session how to write an SE policy. What is the use? Use of an SE policy why we require SE policy so we have some file and we have some labels to that file that means by defining labels we are defining who should access that file but how will I access that particular file to access that particular file I need some policies and uh, to write policies there are different formats I have already told this in my previous session you all can revisit the video in the session and understand more so uh, your first keyword will be allow and then comes the domain domain here is camera server it will be same as the file name so allow domain followed by the file type file type uh, semicolon followed by the permission okay these are the four attributes so allow is the keyword domain will be uh, similar to your file name because uh, this specifies from which process I am trying to access other um, files okay so camera server and activity underscore service will be the file type which I want to access and uh, service manager and uh, my uh, permission is find I want to find this particular file that is the permission uh, so it's like that and if we go down uh, we can see read write permissions also so here allow camera server ad adb adb daemon okay this is adb daemon this is the type of the file and um, uh, i want to use that what is the permission i want to actually use that particular file again um, allow camera server adb daemon uh, unix stream socket and I want to read write give this permission read write for all the Unix uh, streams sockets so this is the way we define uh, SE uh, policies right so let me take another file for example file.t and here also we can see different SE Linux policies written allow where it will be starting from allow but here in this particular file yeah it, it's at the end so allow file system self self means this particular uh, process is trying to access and associate will be the permission so so it's like this there are a public partition and there are private partition in both these partitions there will be different sc linux files for example your um, audio server dot te let's open this file and here again uh, related to all audio servers uh, what policies I need those things will be written here allow audio server this is your domain and activity service will be the file name which I want to access and find will be the permission written so uh, to be in uh, to make it a simple word see I have some apple on my desk okay that apple you can consider as a labeled okay a file which you want to access 
right and i need to somehow access that i can either access it directly with my hand or with the help of a stick with the help of any other object how i access it that i define as a in the form of policy so what i am accessing that is already labeled label you can think in the sense uh, i can identify its color attribute and i can give that type it will be uh, belonging to the fruit type and i can give it a role i have certain security for it defined all this for the apple i have defined and i have kept it on a table but it depends on me how i access that particular apple so how i access will be defined through these policies your audio server files okay these files should access other files in the system what are the other files activity service files or uh, maybe it may be battery related files and there are power uh, related files it need to access right media related files how it will access and what permission it has to access okay that is defined in the form of policy and all the policies will be defined in te file uh quickly i wanted to show the vendor partition uh, because vendor partition uh, uh, policy files will not be uh, there in the aosp code i have just taken screenshot and i have attached here so this is my vendor policy um so it will be present in the location device um company name followed by common and sc policy right so here there are different te files and if i open each of these te files again there will be certain policies defined like which files i can access those things will be present one more thing i wanted to mention uh, is uh, this uh, i already told about uh, policy.conf file right the different se policy files and the different context files will be clubbed together concatenated together in the policy.conf file this policy.conf will be present in your out folder whenever you give the full build for your uh, source code out folder will be generated in that out folder under your uh, a product name under the intermediates and this policy.com file will be present right now i have not Uh, given full build and i do not have any code system to show the location of policy.conf but yeah this is where it will be present uh, under the out folder intermediates so let's move on uh, we'll see what is sc linux initialization uh, initially when the device boots up sc linux will be in permissive mode we know the three different modes sc linux can be in the default mode the permissive mode and the enforcing mode default mode is replicated from android 810 permissive mode we know that even though the error is thrown in the background the access will be given to the particular file but in your adb or in your logcat you can see this particular file a do not have access to um, read file b okay that error will be thrown but it will access that in background enforcive mode means whatever error is thrown that will be executed that means if error is thrown if any avc denial error is thrown which means there is no a uh, permission to access that particular file these things we have seen in the previous sessions so sc linux will be in permissive mode when the device boots up until certain init process will take over okay init process loads the sc linux files from the ram disk into the kernel through this particular uh, path so in csfs sc linux load init file will be invoked and once init file will be invoked it will change the permission to enforcing mode from permissive mode to enforcing mode it will be switched okay then it will run the reexec to apply sc linux domain rule to itself what uh, reexec will do is um, it will copy all the domain rules the labels the context entire things to entire system as well as to itself all the related labels context it will copy it to the entire system so uh, the, in this uh, slide the important information i wanted to tell you all is uh, when the device boots up sc linux will be in permissive mode and when the init file from this partition will be triggered sc linux will switch to enforcing mode 
so with that we come to end of today's session and uh, today's question is ac linux will be in which mode when the device is initially booted it will be in permissive mode i hope uh, this session was helpful we saw the different policies and uh, what are what is the file name where the policies will be there and we saw examples of how policies are written with the aosp source code along with we saw what is the uh, default mode ac linux will be there when the device is booted up and when exactly it will switch to enforce mode i hope this was informative and helpful you you would have got a rough idea where these ac linux policies will be uh, put in okay if it is uh, system related it will be put in uh, system ac linux uh, uh, policy folder and if it is vendor related it will be put in your device your uh, company i mean your uh, device name followed by common vendor partition okay so that's all i had for today i'll meet you all soon in my next session until then everyone take care bye bye